we're going to walk down to Winsleydale Creamery. Um, we've left Poppy with Glyn and Sharon because uh, they're not allowed in the creamery. No. So no. they're going to come down later and then we'll let them go around the creamery. Yep. Yeah. So they're coming down in the car, aren't they? Yeah. 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 So we're going to walk down. We're going to walk. So we'll be walking through Wars, won't we? Because it's the other end. Yeah. So we've got some water. Yeah. You've got a hat. And got, we've got a couple of hats. We've both got hats. So I think we've got everything. Just yeah. feel we should have a little while. Uh, Dog. Like doll. But <laughs> it's weird with that pop. Keep thinking what have I forgotten. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the way we went up to Buttertobs yesterday. There. This is the way we're going this morning. Yep. That's the other place we'll have a look in is the countryside museum, but I think we'll do that another day. Railway station, isn't it? Yeah. Little falls. What a pretty little scene that, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Busy little road through here. There's a church for sale here. Well, it's been sold. Sale agreed. Want to buy a church? It's the big church you can see from the site, isn't it? Oop, there's a step there. Right. What's up here? Yeah. And just up here, the creamer, isn't it? There is plenty of parking, isn't there? Yeah, we've come in the van before. Yeah. It wasn't too far to walk, was it? No. Five minutes? Actually. A bit longer than that, I think. Alright, ten yeah. minutes. Ten minutes, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a car park here, but the cream is a little bit further on, isn't it? Yeah. A bit more climbing. Oh, here we are. How many years is it since we've been here? Oh, had Poppy, didn't we? Did we? I think so, I think you went in. Uh, I only went in the shop, so I'm hoping to go in the creamer itself. We've got our demonstrations here. She's making demonstrations, I think it's at 10.30. Yeah. Yeah, it's a visitor centre. For the cheese experience. <laughs> so you get a little sticker. Yeah. What was it? Four ninety five. Four ninety five. Yeah. It allows you to wander around as much All as you day, like. All day. Coming and out. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good, isn't it? That's a history. The first cheese making was back in eleven fifty. French Cistercian monks bring their brought their cheese making recipe. Always like the French. <laughs> the first Winsleydale cheese they made use in sheep's milk and goat's milk. Oh. Yeah, so. Establish a monastery at Fours. Which is just four miles away. Four miles, yeah. So you can't forget its name, can you? No. Fours is four miles away. Fours yeah. are they? Yeah. Seen that. That's Jervo Abbey, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we've been there. And that's Fours Abbey there, isn't it? I don't think we've been there though, have we? See, I think I've seen that from the road. Okay. We've probably been going to see Midland, yeah. between Midland and Matcham. Right. Yeah, the presses, aren't they? Yeah. Wow. These are old stone cheese presses. About 300 years old. The lightest cheese press here weighs half a ton. Mm. All about, about the enclosures. Yeah. So the first creamery here was 100 years ago. Edward Chapman, I don't think he's a relative. <laughs> Your mum was a Chapman, yeah, wasn't she? Yeah, she was. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 
obviously for years they milk cows by hand. Must be the wrong way around, doesn't it? Milk cool, a three-legged stool, and then finally milking machines. It's like <laughs> milk cooler, isn't it? Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Kit Calvert. Oh, he saved the uh, creamery from closure in 1930, 1935. Right. Our members of eating junk here when they're young, but don't they milk jelly? Yeah, it's not blown up so much. It's a bit like marmalade, I don't know why. It's loads of cheese. Now, Ray, just give you an idea how little cheese you get from your milk. When you have the fats over the road, each one of those holds a thousand gallon of milk, producing half a ton of cheese every five hours. And we can make up to Very carefully, without spilling a drop, I'm going to drain off the weight. You see, it's not like you can get a wee, almost greeny tinge to it. That's because your weight is full of cream and protein. Because you don't really use that to make cheese, it's the lactose that turns to lactic acid. So that weight has got a very valuable property. And if you ever cheese, it has the crumbly texture. Uh, and really, it just goes back to Kit Cowlitz here again. Now, some say Kit Calvert performed a minor miracle in 1935, and that was you wasted your time with lying on your shoes. <laughs> all things to think about in the green rim. And then by hand, all you're doing is dropping the curd into the mould, and then just basically squishing it down every so often just to let some extra liquid escape. <coughs> it takes about three quarters of an hour to empty each vat, so it's quite a hefty work. It's a job that's done by a man and woman working side by side in perfect harmony. Never a crossword. <laughs> Just have a convince. There's cheese, that's going to become my favourite cheese, or your least favourite cheese. It all begins life like that. First job we do now is wrap every single one up in a cheesecloth, a little cotton cloth, just like this. <laughs> we wrap it up and then I'm lift it up and show you. Um, Instead of blue. To keep the kids amused. Yeah. A bit of history. Yeah. Now it's the best bit then. Let's see if we can sample some. Different. Oh, different cheeses here. Hot and spicy, caramelised cheese bag. Cheese bag. Just think how we're going to carry it. That's yeah, we can put it in a cheese bag. Black sheep ale cheese. Some Yorkshire yeah. butter. What? Get a little basket. Put it in. Okay. Got some beer as well. A couple, of, a couple of bottles. 
was a handle, eh? Glyn's brought the car, so. Oh, good, true, yeah. Yeah. Rhubarb and custard. Any jam? I might try one of those then. Okay. I might like some jam. Oh, yeah. I wonder what she'd like. So you've got spice plum, fig chutney, red onion and marmalade, thicker lily, sweet onion marmalade, strawberry jam, gooseberry and elderflower jam. Wow. Yeah. Fig chutney. <laughs> I'll just get, better get me out of here. No, we've been round the creamery. That was really good. Enjoyed that. Mm. There's a really good demonstration by the uh, guy. Uh, he does a little cheese making um, what, what demonstration. You, yeah. Well, uh, normally would take five hours. He does yeah, in twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Doesn't yeah. He? But uh, they asked us not to film all of it because I couldn't sit there and film it because I think I'd give away all their, their secrets. secrets so, yeah. Uh, so you, you just see some clips of that. Um, when it went round, you can go around the little uh, visitor experience. That was okay, but it was a bit geared for kids. Wasn't yeah, it? What, yeah, Wallace, Wallace and Gromit and things yeah. like that. Yeah, so. No. Uh, and then we could look over the factory, couldn't we, where they're yeah. actually making the cheese yeah. now? Yeah. Yeah, so we know all the secrets, don't we? So but the best, the best bit is the cheese shop. Yeah, <laughs> it's be, yeah. Bit the cheese shop, the, the number of different cheeses they do yeah. there is fantastic. So what did we get? We got so uh, Wensleydale Blue, didn't yeah. we? We got an, an oak smoked one, yeah. an apricot one, yeah. and a really strong cheddar, didn't you choose? Yeah. 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 And yeah. some black sheep ale. Yeah. I got a bottle of the golden ale, and yeah. you've got a bottle of the really oh, the dark yeah. stuff. Which I'm looking forward to trying. You've got two bottles, in yeah. fact. Yeah. Yeah. With a bit of cheese. Yeah. Grime. Yeah, and I've got some biscuits there with, with the cheese yeah. and the yeah. and the beer. So yeah. Yeah. It's so all fully stocked up for the rest of the holidays. So that's what we're wise. going to go back and do. Well, Glenn and Sharon have gone round now, yeah. haven't they? The left is looking after the dogs. Yeah. So we've got Bex and Poppy with us. Yeah. Just yeah. enjoying a bit of um, early spring sunshine. It really is warm. Yeah. It's, it's lovely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, so just have a look a look around here. And obviously you've got the factory here, but you've got the hills behind. Wonderful That's a Yorkshire Dales. Yeah. View over there because yeah. it's not a cloud on those hills. No. He says something like fifty uh, farms in this area. There's fifty farms in this area yeah. that provide milk to this factory. Yeah, you can see them all up on the hill there. Yeah. Yeah. Quite incredible. Yeah. Yep, so I really enjoyed that. Well anyway, we've come to this farm shop because Halls is absolutely rammed, isn't it? Yeah. It's like a honeypot. So we thought we'd come away. So Glyn has kindly driven us out, oh. out here. Little farm shop. It looks nice and quiet. The uh, things are got two scones. Yes, yeah. not scones. <laughs> 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 this is very nice, isn't it? Yeah, very nice. It's nicer inside, but obviously this is good. Hello. Yeah, that was very good. You want to get away from the madness of uh, the busy town centre. It's about 11 miles from Hawes. Very good. There's a fascinating game going on at the moment, and who's winning? Uh, Fun enough, Jenny. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Followed closely by you. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it for tonight. Uh, no, hang on. So Take two. <laughs> so that's it for uh, today. I had a really nice day, a nice day out, and uh, had some chips at the Hawes Chippy. Uh, good, weren't they? Yeah, they were Had right, to queue yeah. up for a fair bit of time, didn't we? Yeah, it was Friday. Yeah. 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 But, uh, yeah, so we're just having a little game of Scrabble. So what are we doing tomorrow? 
going on the train, Wednesday Dale Oh yeah, Railway. Wednesday Dale Railway. We're going from Leaming Bar. We've, so we've decided. Leaming, Leaming, Leaming Bar. Bar. And I'm having to film this. Hello. <laughs> I'm having to film this on my phone because I, I've left my camera in the Sorry, van. We're going so. from Leaming Bar, aren't we? Because yeah. we can call it Tesco where they're even then from yeah. <laughs> coming yeah. back. Yeah. That's it. Any last words from you? No, no, that's, that's, that's it. it. Yep. So we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah.